Northamptonshire, England. Among its many ruined locations, one stands out in particular, St. John's in Bowton. This ancient ruin has whispered tales of the paranormal that attracts curiosity-driven explorers like myself. You get a cold spot here right away. Considering that it's somewhere that is over 20 degrees, it is kind of strange. We could have another clop hill on our hands today, guys. Hello everyone, today I'm visiting the ruins of St. John the Baptist in Bowton and this place has a reputation for being one of the most haunted spots on Northamptonshire and we're gonna find out why. One of the biggest challenges in delving into the history of St. John the Baptist is separating facts from fiction. So many years of myths and legends, it's difficult to pinpoint exactly what is true or mere speculation. However, that's what makes this place so fascinating. The air of uncertainty that hangs over it like a shroud. I wonder where secrets lie underneath the crumbling stones. Let's go and have a wonder. Despite the many ghost stories and paranormal claims, the history of St. John the Baptist is shrouded in mystery, with no clear record of when it was built or what it was built for. Some say it dates to the 12th century and some say it's a lot older. All we know is that it has been abandoned for quite some time and all we have is the whispers of its former life. It was possibly built over another church it consisted of a chancel, a north chapel, a nave, a west tower with a spire dated 14th century. As you know, the Roman loved their springs, so I'm not surprised that some Roman and Neolithic findings are recorded, but much has been lost due to quarrying. Broughton also appears to have had a medieval settlement. That's where Broughton Green is now. The medieval village surrounding the church declined in the 15th century. This must, might have been, as well, a place of ancient worship. As we know, in the early days of Christianity, churches were built on top of pagan sites. And we also know that wells and springs were considered sacred. St. John the Baptist, probably dedicated to St. John because there is a spring here that is called the St. John's Well. So let's go and look for it. I'm going to go this way. We will come back to the church later. Gotta be this way. There's a path there. Back a spooky place in one of the most haunted places in Northamptonshire. Yeah, what can possibly go wrong? So this is where the water goes. Hmm. 
Let's go find the spring. I think I found a spring. Doesn't seem to be springing too much, but I can see tiny little movements there. So there's still fresh water coming out of it, even if it doesn't look that much. So this is the Holy Well of St. John, or the Holy Spring, really. The perfect spot for a pagan site. Let's go and take a look inside. Okay. And we're having another case of the gimbal. Look at this. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> this thing. <laughs> just moving in by itself now. I don't know what's wrong with this thing. With such a long history, it's no surprise that St. John has its fair share of ghostly stories. There have been all sorts of sightings. There's been sightings of a red-haired woman, a woman in white robes, children, headless horsemen, and Captain Slash. So legend has it that 200 years ago, a young couple had been married only a few hours that the groom dropped dead. Grief stricken and unable to live without her love, the young lady handed the life on his grave. And she is said to be haunting this place, especially around Christmas or Christmas Eve. If the person walking past was a woman, she would be met by a man. And if it was a man entering the gates, then he would be met by a woman. And if you get kissed by either of those, you are dropped dead within a month. That was apparently the fate of William Parker. He was a young farmer that lived just up the road in Moulton. And one Christmas Eve in 1875, he decided to wander around the cemetery, as you do. <laughs> and he apparently met a red-haired woman. They sat down, they had a nice chat, and they kissed. Now, he died a month exactly after that, which was the 24th of January, 1876, and his death is reported, thus fueling the story of the red-haired woman. There are a few cool spots around here. Of the side that I'm standing now is a very hot day, so it doesn't make any sense. The church is also believed to be haunted by the ghost of a famous highwayman called Captain Slash. George Captain Slash Cattrall was a name very well known here in Northamptonshire. He was the leader of a gang who used to rob and murder, especially affairs. 
And there used to be a fair ran just there, across the road in Bowden Green. And it used to run for three days to celebrate the birth of St. John the Baptist. In 1826, he was caught. He was sentenced and hanged in Northampton in July 1826. But it is said that his spirit still hangs around Bowden Green and around the ruins here in St. John's. Well, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give us a thumb up. And I shall see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye.